Hello, everybody, and welcome or welcome back to Slice and Dice 3.0. In we are going to go to Cursed Hyper Mode, which sure sounds wild. Uh, we'll have to see. Infinite play until you lose. I just intend to do a run up to the boss at 20 if it makes it that far because you gain a curse at the start and then after every single fight, which, depending on the level of the curses could either be bad or a nightmare. It depends. But we do also gain a blessing after every single boss. So, like I said, it kind of depends on the numbers how difficult this is going to be. But at the very least, it's a different way of playing the game. For sure. <laughs> Getting that many curses. Oh, I do love me force and mountains, a thing that I think is fine. But in neither of these am I allowed to get the dabbler. If you go force, you cannot get the dabbler. I want this stupid unlock. I don't care. Choose a curse. A level 1 curse. That doesn't mean that they're only going to be level 1s, but that's a good start. Tier 3 heroes get one less max HP. Or, I'm not, I mean, I can already tell you, no. Uh, I find that the tier 1 curses that give you a cursed item that have to be equipped is way undervalued at 1% curse level in my personal opinion losing an item slot is almost worth one curse if i have to be real uh but we'll go for arthritis it's not a problem until later so yeah i don't know if the curses are going to start to stack up or even just if it is like a um a slow creep up of one point one point one point it will eventually like really matter quite a bit uh, so we've got that cleave, and we can dupe that. That's really nice. Wait, I think that's fine. Are we going to be able to kill... Yeah, we're going to be able to kill something that's targeting the healer just fine. Works for me. I think we go for... Cleave. Oops. Cleave. Schmack. And we can just burst. It's fight one. What do you want? What do you want from me? Choose a curse. Another tier one. Archers and snipers get plus two pips to all sides. Uh, I'm not big on ones like this because it's it's weird. It's like the one where it doubles the... Like, anything over nine pips gets doubled. It doesn't matter until it's going to, like, kill you. <laughs> it doesn't matter, but then when it does, it might be the thing that completely ends your run. So, I don't know that that's the case. We're probably just going to go for it, though. We just sure as heck don't want to get more than one. Uh, and we're going to want to focus down archers. I think what we do, realistically, is we take it and then we go for ranged... No, we have to go for the dabbler. <laughs> I don't want less offered items. You know what? Hit me with a random curse. You can't lock more than three dice at a time. That's a tier one. Ninja is good, but we are going to go for the knight. Because we want to try and find the dabbler. One... Someday... We just need to pick the dabbler one more time to unlock another character. There's a whole extra character that we have not been able to unlock. So one, two, three. One, two. We can kill a wolf. We can kill a wolf, which is actually, like, good enough, I think. For our whole shebang. Wow. Ooh. Game had to think about that for a sec. We do have to, uh, we can't do anything with the knight this turn, but I think that that's okay. I think that's completely fine. All we need to do is kill the rats. Can't be locked. Well, okay. Yes, they can. Boop. So far, so fine. Oh, let's see. This is, this is new for me, at the very least. The third spell you cast every fight costs three extra mana. Or your rightmost side is blank. It helps the clumsy. Don't care about that for the horde. Don't care for the knights. I don't really care for the healer. It's it's actively helpful right now. It's the side that's usually bad. What does it do late game? It makes it so we don't we're not gonna want to take the um, the eccentric. We also took the eccentric yesterday. Also, you could say Tainted as well, but we're not going to see that character today. Replace blank sides with a heal one or get a glass helm. No. 3 HP, death is permanent. I... No. No. 
unless you want to go full degenerate and like um go for a situation where you intentionally get somebody killed and then you try and get some tier fours in the mix kind of like a reverse weird cat build angle oh this is oh this is good let me just look at this for a sec because I, th I think that we actually just we just have it good god we we're gonna be a absolute answers to all of these might not be the case against the bramble though arthritis too i don't really want to just say ah who cares who cares because then we're gonna hit level three and we're gonna be like what the hell is going on so I'm going to be every third turn. I don't know. that That's probably worth more than one point, but I'm not going to not take it. Let's just spell. Heal and shield five for three points. Two regen, two mana pain, weaken. This is kind of kind of cracked. I actually really like the brute. I, I really, really value the brute, especially in this fight, but... If you see a good generated hero, you take a good generated hero just because it's if for no other reason than it's like new. <laughs> um, unfortunately, this is useless until we kill the big man. Okay. Can't do this or you die. Super, super cool. We want to kill the rat. Sure. It is rough because you really only have a limited amount of uh, actual attacks to use against the Bramble. And I'm not confident we have enough. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. We do, we do, we do. We do. But we do have to last. Oh, and we have to deal with the B as well. Oh, no. Oh, no, man. Come on. We'll save that mana up. Dude, okay. Hoarder, come on. Okay, thank you. Thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you. We're taking that. Okay, um, the thing is we could go for this, but since it's not a kill, I don't really care. And the bee is killing itself. As far as I'm concerned, that's, that's more than acceptable. All right, we just need one damage. Thank you. God dang, man. Oh, that's a boss. I actually didn't even realize that was a boss. That makes sense. 30% more space for enemies before they become reinforcements. It's not a problem until it's a big problem. Time suit incoming damage if you've gained no shields on the middle hero, which is our knight. Um, that's probably fine, but I'm going to take the horde and just hope that it never is relevant. At the start of the first four turns, gain a mana. Tier 1 and 2 heroes get max HP. I don't care. I don't care. <laughs> now that's a randomly generated item right there. Holy. That's a randomly generated item right there. Holy crap. That's good. Okay. Mm -hmm. We could go for the regen, but I feel like we also just might as well go for, like... Oh, we just ran out. Might as well. I mean, we got, we grabbed that. We might as well just go for it. Jewel Chalice is interesting. God dang, you clumsy.
that's already enough, and then we can save our mana to maybe get the kill. We need a... Oh, okay. Well, this at least gives us a... A reason to roll, maybe? Oh no, I'm exerted for next turn! Add a cooldown to burst? Nope. Minus one item quality? Nope. Oh. No! Must be equipped, which is already a tier one curse, truthfully. After an ability is used, I take a self damage. Probably fine. It's good. It's really good. But I'm taking the stinking Myco. For the love of God, I will find the stinking thing. What do I want from you? I feel like the weakened side is really good here. Oh. No! I've been had! I've been had! I've been had! <laughs> oh god, the lock thing is... Oh, it's actually really annoying here. Please. Please roll your damage side so I feel like I can stop. Okay. Well, that works too. I've been had. Uh, spore is interesting. I think it just makes the most sense to pop this. What if we did like a one of those? Followed by like a one of those. Works for me. Bumping that up is probably better. Like, it, it's really good. I'm just gonna accept that. We can accept that we can't lock anymore. Roll. It's really good, but I don't know. Oh, you just didn't get it. Okay. Dude, come on. This is not worth one point. It takes up an item slot and then it deletes your other one. It's basically one character can't use items at all. It doesn't matter at all for the first few, for the first like five, ten, maybe ten fights. But the thing is, you have to keep in mind late game. One character just can't be changed at all, and that's a really big problem. That's a really big problem in this game. Big hitter. It basically reads, uh, if they roll a nine damage side, it is going to kill someone. Almost always. Start of the second turn, shield one to enemies. Short sword, replace the two right sides with two damage. Replace the middle side with the hero above's base base sides that's kind of interesting we could uh we could yoink those we could have two hmm that's a maybe short swords very like logically useful whatever we end up doing with this we could even like put the short sword always behind it like short sword and then that and then no matter what they're getting something and it's pretty like it's at least decent they're, they're uh, a extremely reliable reroll engine that will, at the very least, throw out a short sword, too. Which is very appealing. <gasps> I'll do the short sword. It's... For right now, it's just like... It's, it's so... It's so reliable, it makes me sick. You know? It's just... You take that. I think I take that in this fight. 
Can't lock anymore, I don't think. Clumsy, what is your deal? Four out of six are your sides, and you're doing what now? You're tapping out? You all right, pal? That's a little weird. That kills the clumsy. We need to go. We need to do that. There's no point in. I, I say there's no point in killing the goblin, but that's not fully true. It does make this fight a lot more chill. Like instead of a uh, a silly little race. You're probably at the... Are you at the point where the growth side's better? Maybe. I hate it. Like, it's not... To be clear, it's not... It's not better right now. It's just... We want to blast you. We might as well just hold on to it. Not a strong reason. Oh, the bee! Not the bee! We just have it, though. Yeah. Mold oh, that decay to all sides, I know. At the start of every sixth turn, shield two to all enemies. Okay. Just kill before turn six forehead no dabbler still let me just double check is the dabbler banned N uh not the where where are you oh don't don't you tell me it's my yeah it's my number one most picked guy come on my bottom yeah 100% I am aware, and yet, uh, Gladiator is really good, so I don't, I don't mind that. I don't mind that anyway, just based on the fact that he is an absolute uh, giga chat. Anyways, we want to go for burst. Do I lock that? We're gonna be. Uh, we'll probably just burst Agnes, and therefore we don't have to care about the weaken. Uh-oh. We kind of just have to accept whatever the last one is since we can't lock. Is it three damage or two? It's two damage. Could even run the parry if we felt like it. Maybe that's a little bit more comfy. I'd say so. Speaking of I'd say so, I think that's just good enough. Two damage on the gladiator, two damage self-shield. Like that. They the shooting. Is this turn six? No, it's turn two. <laughs> it's this turn six. I just, I thought for sure it wasn't turn two, so I thought it had to be turn six as a result. Okay. Oh, the bee. The bee is definitely, like, it's annoying. Is it? like that big of a deal. I guess I'll just keep that. It's too damaged, reliably. Who do you hit? Two damage to the middle enemy. We need to chill. Do 
If we, you roll a dagger, we have to stop. Okay, well, we, we'd have to stop anyways, there it looks like. Okay. Bye-bye. Stop. Stop with the freaking item slots. I've got... I have been forgetting about Curse Bolt. I think that's part of the reason why you've been going a lot lower than I've been thinking. Add pain to all sides with exactly three pips. I just... No. It, that's not a one-point curse. I don't care what you say. That's not a one-point curse. That completely invalidates my knight, basically. Every second turn, all heroes get minus one pip to all heal and self-heal sides. That's fine. It's fine. Do I like it? No. Level up the top hero by one. <laughs> hey. All heroes get self-shield on their middle side. Now, hello, that's kind of interesting. The, the second I take this, it's going to turn into the Dabbler, and you know what? That's not going to count. Otherwise, I would do this for sure. I'm being absolutely destroyed by this, but uh, middle side getting self-shield is interesting. Oh, what? Why, why doesn't that get self-shield? Full moon is fun. Every second turn, replace all sides with the wolf sides. With the, uh, the minus one to all heal and self-heal on turn two. We could actually... You become a really good werewolf. Because on turn, on turn two... All of these sides are bad. Good. Uh, yeah, good. I think that's our preferred side for you. This we just roll for some cantrip attacks, I suppose, mostly. And get none of them. Okay. So you obviously have to beat, yeah. just do this instead um okay so this however is kind of interesting because we could just pop that it's gotta be you right wait no oh it's you oh which means I don't need to improve that at all actually decay and plus one pip to target sides you know what let's just do that one that's a once a turn right because you're about to turn into a, a werewolf anyways, and then the knight gets healed up for three at the end of the turn. It's pretty good. And now you're a freaking werewolf, so who cares? This side doesn't matter, you are just... We're hoping. Rolling and hoping for a cantrip or something here. Now it's going! Interesting, interesting, interesting. Oh, this is this is four. Interesting. Yeah, this is just awkward all, all around. It. Mm. Oh, this is really weird. Why is this... Why is this so awkward, man? Do we just... 
chill? We do that and just chill? It feels wrong. This is just one of those weird situations where we had like a strange setup. We had a strange setup for damage. Like a lot of a lot of awkward overkill. Take that even though it probably won't matter. What am I doing? Having fun. That's what I'm doing. If I have get literally anybody else that has the cantrip side, we're we're chilling. But we just don't really want the clumsy to be the one. Ha. Ah. Minus one level up choice. Or, wait, what is the? I can't right click this to see what it is. This is. At the start of the second turn, shield one to all enemies. What does this change? Start of turn one? Oh, that's fine. That's fine. I hate. I hate. In general. In general, I hate. So the juggler is good. I'm not going to lie. The juggler is very good. If I get a random tier 2 level up, it, it's not even going to freaking count. It's not even going to freaking count. This is weird, though. Like, you don't want this to be your only side, because then you're useless very quickly. But, I mean, you're, I, is a reroll bot really useless? Especially when, like, we get to do this as the juggler. Is there any reason why it's going to be a problem here? Nope. Um, I mean, this is fine, too. But I've been enjoying having that extra three damage. I don't hate this, but then you're you're a really weird werewolf. Ask it. That's a really good amount of damage for that. Um, the thing is, Gladiator becomes much worse. It's a little bit strange, but... I'll mind it. Alrighty. Here we go. Roll up a loser. You'd think that we don't have um, four cantrip reroll sides. <laughs> Must be equipped. Death is permanent. Are you kidding? This is a tier one item? Are you out of your mind? That's crazy. Uh, turn two, they get three armor. Huge enemies, such as the dragon, get four HP. It's annoying, but it's fine. At rescue to the left side, stasis to all sides. Um, it's half good, half bad on the Myco. God, it's a it's a really good item that's absolutely atrocious on everybody that I have. You could argue it's good on the knight because he can't exert. 
but then he also can't get benefit from steel. It's weird. Rescue to the left side has to be the play, though, right? It's it's pretty broken. Re rescue is a broken keyword. You can use it on um, on aggro things as well. Please. Thank you. It does actually mess up our ability to one-shot the zombie easily, but oh well. Should definitely be taking that, but... Thank you. <laughs> what a stupid generated item. It's lovely. I love it. I love it. I love it. Eh, keep going. Okay. Alright. So nobody's at full HP. Okay, the grave is at full HP, but that doesn't really. So, so, so is kind of how I put that. Um. Ba -ba 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 -ba. <laughs> Should probably get the grave, but that's the dead zombie. Should we desire it? Huh. You are really not looking like a I mean, I guess it's... Eh, whatever. Okay, the zombie's one-shottable anyways now, but... In fact, do I just kill the carrier instead? Do I just say whatever? How has the grave dodged all of my shurikens? Or whatever you want to call them. Yeah, I like that better. Just like healing up the knight with the regen. Oh, the bee! <laughs> Due to the fact that he uh, takes damage from her spells. It just feels right. Thank you. Grave is starting to actually take a little smacking. Okay. We might want to stop because if this randomly hits the bones, it's slightly annoying. Two is your best now. I guess I gotta realize that. Oh, we actually had cleanup. Huge units get plus ten health. No. Ah. Interesting. Left side sticky ruins our build. I have to take a random. Minus two max stored mana. I, I do hate it, but it does. It's probably for the best. Uh, Dancer. Oh, that's why it doesn't get... Okay. I think that we take the Dancer. I think that we take the dancer. It's kind of like got the same spirit there. That being said, we want, for this fight, we want to make the dancer really bad. <laughs> we want to make the dancer really, really bad because of obvious reasons. We are basically fighting against the dancer for all purposes here. I do assume that the rerolls are helpful still. Oh shoot. You know what? We actually might be just We might be chilling on that. Yeah. I think we're chilling on that. 
Got a little bit of regen. Okay, so now it's the Myco. So we still get the rerolls, which, hey, I mean, I kind of assumed. But didn't know for sure. Could use that, I guess. What does that do for us? Ew! Ew! That's bad. Oh, I can only keep a mana. Sure. Alrighty. Gotta be. <laughs> of course. That's all actually really good. What do I want from you? Yeah, that. What happens with this? <laughs> That's so good, and I hate it. It's so good for them. Um. <laughs> oh my! I could instant. I could lose. I could like instant lose. That's so funny. Okay. Um. Uh, I can only lock three. I'd really prefer this to be something else. Thank you. It, it just, it's, it, it, it makes my life a lot easier if that's just not that. It's been an awkward fight for us, for sure. Glad we didn't give this sucker whatever, a billion more health. Come on. Oh, I can do that, yeah. Just had to make sure that wasn't going to kill my knight. Oh, during fight number four, fight two ba basilisks instead? Oh, sure. <laughs> I'll do that on fight four. All heroes, when they die, add a mana. Snooze. One max HP, replace the rightmost side with stun an enemy with equal or less HP. It's good. And you get the wand. Like, it's good. It's, it, it is good. It is good. It's just also snooze. If we went for the, um... The stasis thing. Oh, whatever. I want to see what else we can get. At the start of the first turn, get two extra mana. Hey, sure. Hey, there's the Wand of Stun. Heavy to all of my targeted sides. And plus one. Um. That's interesting with the Dancer. Wand of Stun is fun. Like, Wand of Stun is good. What do you want from me? It's good. This, however, is really intriguing. We will focus them down, which also means we're more likely to get value from engage, which is interesting and helpful. Could do this. Sure. All right, dancer. Wow, me. <laughs> Nobody needs to be saved. Has to be targeting the highest HP for what's worth. I think we we keep going. We don't want to. We don't want to stop the party now. I think that's the one. I think that. No, you're not even being targeted. Come on. Don't stop the party. Yeah. Oh. Keep on going. It's potentially worth stopping the party for, but I'm going to say no, because it's funny. <laughs> I 
Woohoo! Keep going. Keep going until the fight's done. Keep going. Wow. I can we actually just Just because you deserve it. Wow. All right. Uh-oh. <laughs> uh-oh. 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 Uh, heavy dice. You cannot roll more than... Wait. You cannot lock more than three dice. Why is this breaking, right? You can't lock more than three, but you can't roll more than four. Is that a problem for my build at all? Add a B to every fight. This doesn't replace the other one. Which it, would I, I would consider to maybe be... Eh, not an improvement, but... Let's do this. It's weird. Uh, wizard... Wizard's really good for this, because it's just another, gives us yet another, like, little cantrip meme to play around with. Uh, we do this. Let me get that back, I think. Yeah, like, cantrip, yeah. Oh, God, Dancer, I'm so sorry. I really should, uh, I should change your stuff, but I'm not uh, going to. I'm not gonna. Okay, that's right. Got, we have to keep something. Probably you. If I'm gonna be honest, that's probably a good keep. I'll keep it the next time it shows up, if it shows up again. You are gonna get some shielding. Okay, here comes the self-destruction. They are at least trading back and forth there. That is gonna be helpful. I did say, but now our rerolls are up to four. Do it, do it, do it, do it. Self destruct. Self destruct. So we know where it's going to go now. Okay. Now we have to lock you. Because otherwise, you, you do die. Uh,. That's fantastic. Keep. Okay. Step one. Step two. What is happening? Your target here can use their dice again. Heal and shield five. I don't know. Sure. Sure. All right. Come on, dancer. We gotta lock something. You're not the one with the... Yeah, okay. Come on. Come on. Okay, fine. Curse mastery. Cursed ultra. <laughs> Win a fight with 13 curses. Cannot lock more than two dice. Just for th for today's thing, whatever. Uh, decaying plus one is a no on most stuff here. On on most stuff. Plus one to shield sides is. Interesting. 
Interesting. I think we give that to the wizard. Like, the fact that this is, was turned into a self-shield side but from that one blessing is really good. Um, the saving grace here of the random targeting, so we have to lock something. We have to lock something. In the event that we have to lock something, we just pick one of those. Oh! Oh, we're chilling. Oh, we're chilling. Yeah, the saving grace is this thorn is... Can take a long time before we target it. I forgot that that's who has it now. Okay. Thorn is the target of the next one. We gotta chill out. Is that good enough? I mean, it is. Perma boost is good. Oh, that's right. We can't lock more. So we have to be pretty happy with what we have. Let me go for it. Just to assert dominance? Nah. Cool. All heroes. <laughs> All heroes with one or less HP and dying allies. Both need to be true. Or on turn two, they get three armor. Wait, it's an upgrade of my, my current one. On the start of the first turn, shield one. Or on the start of the second turn, they get three. I think that's fine. They're not making it to turn two. What are you talking about? <laughs> Uh, Gladiator is basically just, we, we're looking at this side, which is a really good side. Or Stoic. Stoic's actually an interesting one, too. Oh, wait, yeah, because actually, this becomes pretty interesting in the sense that we can go for a, we can do that, and then if we give this rescue, that does work, to be clear. If stunning somebody stops one of our characters from dying, it works. It counts. Uh, and then we also have, like, a pretty easy sacrifice character in the Gladiator. And this also means that you're pretty decently likely to get uh, your little who's it, what's it. Oh, God, we got to keep something. Yeah, that's... I've, yeah, I mean, it's, your, it's one of your best sides. But in this situation, is it going to matter, really? Probably not. Um. That's so much better. Oh, it's beautiful. <laughs> when you hear, when you hear two cantrips like that going at the same time, there's like scarcely a better thing. Uh, how much HP do you have? You have 18. Eh. We could tap out. Not yet. There we go. Now it's probably uh, a little bit better in that regard. I don't even... Like, I could do these things together, and it's interesting as the dancer, but I just, like, why, right? Oh! Oh, no! My roll is so bad! I guess I didn't do anything right that turn. Yes, the slate is at full HP. Thank you for for telling me and, and saying, hey, do you want to... Poor Gladiator on that one, but <laughs> I think it's fine. I don't think he's going to worry about it too much. So they do get three shielding. Which means our Rollapalooza is going to have to be... Um... Yeah, it doesn't really matter. Good. Beautiful. God, why is it the most satisfying? Why why is a cantrip build always the most satisfying build? It's just factual. That it's you get these uh these rolls going like crazy. It is just definitely the most satisfying thing. 
The thing is, what we could do with the wizard is if we could try and lock on permaboost at the end, and then um, we lock on the permaboost, and then we just put it on one of the cantrip things before they go. Dude. Just, just a lot of HP. Just a lot of HP for huge enemies. Five damage to adjacent allies when I die. I'll take the health. I don't want it, but... Middle character gets a level up. The start of the third turn, heal and shield all allies. I'll take a random blessing. What could possibly go wrong? Every fifth dice you use each turn gains copycats. That's probably going to end up being irrelevant. Add Fierced to the two left sides. They have, if they have N or less HP after they run away is really good. Add mana gain to targets targets sides this turn. That mixed with inspire is is good. We don't have any we don't have any high value sides is the real truth though. Kind of just like this is okay. Well, not really. That's not. I mean, it works fine. I want the gladiator to have this because I care about him the least. Don't tell him that. Uh, okay, we have another spiky boy, so, like, there's obvious yikes that comes with that. Okay. Nine. Oh! What? What? How do I... Wait, what? Oh, is this... It's... The blessing? Huh? Well, that sucks. That blessing hurt me more than, uh, a lot of the other stuff. Okay, well, I'm gonna... Oh, God, what... Do. Well, we're, we're keeping that, because, like, hold on, just let me look at this. Like, that's incredible. But I am annoyed. This is obviously, like, a good thing to buff, but I think that, like... Wait, so this gets rescue as well. Interesting. So, like, we could keep on getting it. That's really good and really bad. How much do you have? Yeah, 13. We should be fine. Like, we should be completely fine regardless, but it's just... Huh. We gotta really hope that we don't have Hexia. <laughs> Otherwise... Ah! Wait. Permaboot... Can we check the... Eh, whatever. I do want the shield sides. That, that I want for sure. There we go. That's the preferred, because none of them are at full HP, so. Come on, come on, come on. You know what I want? So you copy the mana gain side there, too. This is really interesting. We can't take it with us. The bee! One, 
to... You just take it, right? Because it's just like, it guarantees that you're... It just guarantees that you're good. Can't use that. Thank you. So that actually ended up working pretty well. Okay. During boss fights at a bones. I think that that is maybe even helpful. Wait, what? At a... <laughs> Wait, what? <laughs> huh. God, the... the, the twisted thing is there's some situations where this is bad for us because he take he eats our random hits god this is it, it sucks that there's this is actually there's it, it sucks that there's actually some problems for a guy who just has nine hp and sits there for us today i actually think that the bones in the boss fight we could find a way to make it actively helpful uh, Gladiator. Okay. Curator, uh, gaining this. Rampage and Fierce is really good. And the self, like, self-shield. Curator is actually cracked now. Um, which is kind of wacky. Oh, the fact that that is... All right, we, we locked this already, because I just think that that could be really good. Why do you have to be the one that goes... Okay, so... You upgraded who? You upgraded yourself. Oh, I'll take it. And since it happened in this phase, it's for this turn, and it's... Boy, it's all, all of your sides. Okay. Okay. That worked out well. That worked out really well. Um, thing is, we probably just like we could just do that, and you're fine. Oh, 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 oh! It doesn't work. doesn't work in the fun way. Shoot. What is this last... This, oh, we can... This copies that has rescue engage. I mean, it's not going to really change anything. Hmm. Hmm. It doesn't have. Oh, it doesn't have engage. Is fierce. I, you know what? I'm just not gonna mess with it because we should be fine. We should be fine here. Oh baby. Oh baby. Oh baby. Almost anyone getting that from the wizard is really, really good. There's some that are obviously gonna be better than others. Like, if it randomly hits the um the holder of. The <laughs> The re rolly Magoo. Oh my god! <laughs> the charge side. Then we're uh we're straight chillin'. I'm good to just keep going though, really. Because we, we should be fine here regardless. Like, let's be honest. Bop. Save. So we don't need to kill you, but I think I just will. Uh we do boom boom. Wait. 
Oh, wait, the next... We get mana for the next one. Want to be careful with that. All right. Bottom gets poisoned. Spiky monsters, no. I'd rather die. Uh, Bottom poison is probably fine. I don't like it. But it's probably fine. Ah, with the chomp, it's going to be... It's going to be rough. We're, we're not doing spiky monsters. That obviously counters our build. I, and I'm, in fact, I'm so scared of spiky monsters that I'm just going to say no to all that. Uh, oh my god, we could get... <laughs> yeah, I think we'd probably do that, right? Alternatively, we just give the Stoic the uh, million rerolls and we try and just shut down the boss before they can even play, like, even more than normal. Fizz is also really good. We, we take this. The thing is, that's great. But also, I just really kind of want to have that. So maybe what we do is... Maybe we do this now. And at this point, maybe nobody's a werewolf. This is just too good. Like, as much as having the four damage is good, this helps take away, uh, or helps make things a little bit more flexible. This is really good, but it's also just, it's not going to end up being relevant. That's just going to be the side we go for. It also helps us, like, because the stoic side, we always wanted to keep. Okay, well, whatever we got here from the dancer is going to get copied. Okay. Mm -hmm. Oh, it's, it's getting up there. Hydra's gonna just run away. Yeah, I was gonna say Hydra's just gonna run away by default here. But this is what I'm talking about. Look, we're we're up on, on those rerolls. We're chilling. We're chilling. We are gonna start attacking the chomp, but the chomp is gonna start going for the wizard now. Twenty-two rerolls, no sign of no sign of stopping. Oh, did the stoic get it? Not that it really matters. Yeah, the stoic got it. <laughs> Beautiful. Is it Hexia? It is Hexia. Tier 3 characters get minus 2 HP. Bottom put. Oh, bottom gets double poisoned. Dude, I'm dead. We are hard countered by this for obvious reasons. Um. This is all bad. We'll think about the level up first. Uh, is this a resur- Yeah, I think I have to go for the resurrect. I think that that is... I think that is the potential save. Uh... <laughs> We're screwed. We're screwed, kind of. We're screwed sort of a little bit. Because we could also just alternatively bank on Curator Charged Wizard Meme Dream. And I think that that is a good call. And then we'll just have to... We do that and then we revive with the Surgeon. I think that's our plan. The sad thing is that we are going to lose the Cantrip on the Dancer. Which is really a big way how things get out of control. The, the truth is... Dancer's dead. Like, just basically we lock that, otherwise Dancer's gone. We also lock this. And also we lock that. We can't lock that. And we just start rolling. The fact that we got the three on uh, on the first one is a really big helpful tool. Stoic is going to do something random here. He's going to do something LOL so random. He took something. He took attention from somebody. Okay, I do like that, uh, ooh, ooh. the LOL so random side. So we need to basically, the, the hope is that we build up, like, because I can't have the 
I can't have the curator going random. If the stoic attacks randomly, and he, he at least has the self shield, so that's actually a completely fine random targeting attack on this fight. Because you at least nullify the penalty immediately. So it's good that he's the one that's getting the random cantrips. It ends up being helpful. Cool. Boom, 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 boom. Nice. All right. I think we're still completely fine, especially, I think, with the uh, the operates. The curator is going to go for a giga one-shot attack on Hexia. We need 38. And honestly, there's a chance. There, There is a, there is a chance, which is very funny. It's just, it depends on the RNG a little bit, but like, the addition of the plus three sides should have, uh, the sides going up to plus three. Also, I want to tell you, if we had the, your plus, your three sides have pain, low, run dead, just like that, who got it, who got it? Oh, the dancer. Well, it's going to be really nice for next turn. When we do the uh, absolute stupid against the the imps. Okay. 25. We're still not there. We're still not there. Uh-oh. And we are really starting to fall down. There we go. There's something. And we also get a stun off, finally. I was wondering when that would happen. Okay. <laughs> 31. So 36 for that. We're good. This is beautiful. The revenge against Hexia is, uh, is a beautiful thing. We, I don't know. Do we ever stop? Can't stop, won't stop? Yeah, I think um, realizing when to, when to lock and who to lock there is useful. The Stoic is the only character we have, I think, that can completely throw out attacks randomly and it'd be okay. Like, the wizard would even... The wizard would die eventually, too, if he was the one who got randoms. I don't know if... Okay, the rerolls are starting to climb back up again. I don't know if we... Uh, I don't know if we have to worry here. I'm curious about something. Let's just hit done rolling for a sec. So this has got 53, so if we did that, and then we operated, and then we inspired. Could you do it again for fun? You sure could. Oh my god. Oh my god, you copied the, the, the shield, uh, the charged, uh, oh my god, because then we can just do... Boop. We have 94 mana? Alright. The end. You feel weaker, all your items disappear, only curses remain... You'll never, will you ever escape this fate? Uh, I will, because it's been an hour. Uh, that's where I'm going to call it. Uh, I know endless mode, but I wish that there was also just a cursed mode like this that was just a regular mode. Maybe there's a way to do it, but I, I find it, I find the, um, the, like, fight by fight draft thing of the curses and then also the, in turn, the blessings, I find it to be really interesting and I wish that I didn't... I know I can just do this where I just like, okay, I'm done after 20. Uh, but I know that that makes some people kind of uh, want to cry a little bit. Uh, which, it's... I get it. I'm not an endless guy. I find endless modes absolutely snoozer, personally. But uh, I, I get it. I, I understand. I think that the mode, in the sense of after every single fight, you draft, you draft, you draft, you draft, you draft, you draft these curses and you stack them up all the way up to fight 20. I find it to be a really interesting concept and a very interesting pull of a mode. I, you know, in a situation where regular curse mode, where it was, you get a curse every, so, like, it was, I can't even remember. I guess I can check. You get your curse every, um, you get a tier one curse at the start and after every boss and then every loop, 
you reset and get a tier three blessing. Yeah, I just especially with um, the existence of Curse Hyper, I could never see I could never see myself wanting to play c plain Cursed again. Blurst, we'll probably check that at some point. Um, same with Cursed, same as Curse Mode. Start with a value six blessing instead of a curse, but then you get a curse at the end of every. Is there get defeated on Cursed Ultra? Okay, let's actually do that real quick. Same as curse mode, but all curses are two, <laughs> two to three. And you choose blessing values of 10 each loop. It's kind of, it's good, but it's also like a little bit, um, meh. Oh no, I was defeated. I've been, I've been hearing a lot about this mode. Same as cursed ultra mode. You start with a value 10 blessing instead of a curse. And then every what choose a tier two to three curse at the start and after every boss is how we have to read it choose a tier two to three curse at the start and after every boss that is sketchy and every loop you reset and gain a tier 10 blessing and you start with value 10 blessing that's really interesting that, that's really interesting so it's basically what if today but the penalties were cranked up to 11 and the rewards were cranked up to 11. I, uh, yeah, uh, I'll probably go back. I've been doing, if you haven't figured out the pattern by now, uh, I don't know what to say, but I've been doing regular run, weirder run, regular run, weirder run. Probably going to go back to do another regular run tomorrow and then maybe we'll have to try uh, bl Blultra? Blurtra. Blurtra. So it's Blurst Ultra Mode. Uh, very curious how that one's going to go. Alas, alas, that is that, though. That is going to do it here for today. Forward slice and dice. If you'd be sad to see the series go, you got to let me know in the form of a comment down below. Thank you for watching. Thank you. Thank you. And I will see you next time. Bye-bye.